have you ever made a grilled cheese sandwich as unto the Lord? It's kind of a funny notion, isn't it? But Colossians 3, verse 23 and 24 say, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. And so it doesn't matter what we're doing, no matter how menial the task may seem, we are supposed to do it as unto the Lord. Whether that's making a grilled cheese sandwich, cooking another meal, no matter how simple that meal may be, we are to do it heartily as unto the Lord. And I find myself so often forgetting this. It's easy for me to forget to be intentional and purposeful about whatever it is I'm doing. I can fall into this sort of autonomous vehicle mode where I'm just driving through my day and there's not really a human at the wheel. It's that task-oriented mindset that says, what do I need to do next? What needs done? Gotta do the laundry. Gotta do the dishes. What am I gonna make for dinner? Rather than that mindset that remembers that thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Francis de Salle said, Resolve to restore yourself to patience throughout the day as many times as you sense yourself becoming distracted. And so let's make that our prayer today for me and for you to our Lord and Savior Jesus, that he would remind us to remember him throughout the day. And if we've had a bad morning and we've had a bad afternoon, let's remember that we can be restored and redeemed. We can reset our days when we come to the Lord and ask forgiveness for not being patient, for losing our temper, for becoming frustrated, and just say, Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive me. Help me to come back to you and redeem me and redeem this day. Let's make the rest of the day full of joy. God makes the sky. I know, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it makes your face orange. God made it. God made it. Somebody labeled the pickles for me. Morning, you should be able to shoot somewhere yeah. in here. Okay. Figured what's two hours of my time on a Sunday it would give you good joy for a month. <laughs> I'll probably need a frat to do that. <laughs> what are you riding with, Ruthie? What are you coloring with? Charcoal? Where'd you find charcoal? Wow, are you doing math?
But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Have a blessed day, friends.